Hey guys, so I'm back again. It's time for a resting reading. So let's see what energies we need to harness while we sleep, while we wind down and get ready for tomorrow. Oh, I ain't sage. Let me sage. Let me get my sage on. So what y'all do today? How was work? How was life? For me, I worked on my business. That is what I did today. I worked on my business. I'm about to run a few errands. Chill a little bit. You feel me? Ooh, it's a lot of energy on this. Look at all this smoke. So we gonna cleanse these. Let me go and cleanse my energy too because I was around people today. I be having to stage myself. Like, but I'm going to save the cars, clear out that rising energy. I had a few consultations today. Y'all, don't forget about your readings. They are half price right now. The Moonology readings are half price. You can go on the website and go ahead and book that. And those don't require a consultation. But if you do want a consultation, like you have some questions or anything like that before that reading, do let me know. But let's get right into it. All right. Let's see what needs to be said on this hair and black moon. The one that fell out, communication is key. So whoever not communicating need to get to communicating. And the communicating don't mean just talking and communicating don't mean just listening. It mean doing both. Hey girl, I ain't talked to you in so long, Maya. Your hard work is paying off. This is the one that fell off the deck. So I want to talk about this one a little bit. Because Capricorn, if you're a Capricorn, y'all work so hard. Like, y'all really love to manifest the physical. Like, I love it. But the con about y'all, y'all work so hard and don't play. And I feel like what this card is saying, it's saying New Moon and Capricorn. It's saying all that hard work is paying off. We will discuss that. Their readings, if you booked a free one, they are no longer free. So you can go on the website and do a free consultation. But if you didn't receive a call, I apologize. That has been taken care of with people. But just go ahead and go on the website and you can do a free consultation. But those free readings, those are a no-no now. But back to what I was saying. Yeah, love, you can just go to the website and book a consultation because we're no longer doing free wins. So we do have free consultations. You can just go on the website and book a free consultation that way. And then we have $5 readings right now, and the other readings are from $10 to $40. You're welcome. But okay, so your hard work is paying off. And what you've been putting for, like I said, that new moon is in Leo. And Leo's, they about play. You know what I'm saying? They know, like, okay, I done worked hard. I know what I got going. And we at the point where it's time to have that balance. Like, everybody be on that grind, 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 grind. That hustle, hustle, hustle. But the universe is like, hey, that grind, grind, grind shit that you've been on, you're welcome. That grind, 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 it is paying off. Like, that is probably the best thing to hear. But at the same time, when people who are like hustle, 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 and all they know is hustle, 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 they don't know how to have fun. And that's why you have to have that balance because you don't want to be a workaholic. You don't want to be on your deathbed. All you can say is all I did was work. All I did was grind, grind, grind. And I have no memories to show for it. I have no time to even spend this money because all I'm doing is working. So that's what I got from that card. Definitely like your hard work, whatever energy you've been putting towards, whatever you're trying to see manifest, it's being acknowledged by the universe and it's coming into fruition. So I'm going to do another one simply because that one fell out the deck. And when they fall out the deck, y'all know I got to tell you what it is, what, they, what has been said, because it's a message that needs to be shared. So this one says... New moon in Pisces. All these new moons. I love, love, love new beginnings. I love change. I love different. That's why I love me a Leo. Leos love to switch it up. Like, love Leos. But anyways, so it says meditate and contemplate. So whatever you got going, whatever you kind of like feeling towards, you got an energy towards, you got a feeling towards, meditate on it. Listen to your inner self. Meditation is really going into yourself. 
It depends on which type of meditation you're going for. But when you are meditating and contemplating, for me, I know I want to go into myself and listen to my inner self. Not society's influence, not outside influence, but really what yourself is feeling and what yourself got going. So that's definitely what that meditate and contemplate means, I feel. Because that's definitely how you should approach it. Like, what what do I have to say about this? My true self. Not my, my persona, but what does my soul really feel about this? What does my soul really got to say? And I'm going to read some of what the book says about the new moon in Pisces. But new moon energy is all about new beginnings. It's all about new, 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 starting over. Like, just new, new personas, new mindset. I mean, just new, new, new. And I love new because who trying to marinate in some old shit? Like, you can do whatever you want in this life. Just put your mind to it. Okay, it says, use your feelings to guide your way. Logic won't work right now. Pisces is the 12th of the zodiac signs. That's why they're considered the grandfathers. Then Pisces is also a water sign. Water represents emotion. So... That's what they're all about. They're all about thinking into their emotions. And no one knows how you truly feel better than your inner self. So that's why meditation is so good because you get to block out the rest of the world. And the only person that's talking is you. And that's the only person that matters. So it says, use your feelings to guide. Oh, I just read that. My bad. Then it says, the situation is being healed. It's time to surrender to the divine. It's time to surrender to the divine. Avoid being deceptive. Or willingly deceitful. Pisces is the sign of mysteries or depths of emotion, idealism, and hopeless romantics. It is the sign of water and the un- unconscious. Its energy is deep, like watery depth. The new moon in Pisces indicates the time to listen to your feelings and to allow your feelings and your emotions free reign. Whatever you're feeling as you pull this card is more likely than the truth, unless you've been kidding yourself somehow, and only you know if that is the case or not. So, when you really just block out everything and you really just looking at your cards that you have on the table and what you got going and what you trying to accomplish, the best person that's going to tell you is you. Like, no one knows you like you. (laughs) No one knows you like you. Like, I don't know, like I was saying earlier, when the card of the rising reading was confidence, you know, like, no one can be you than a better you. I don't know. I don't know even know if I can keep stressing that even any more than what I have been because it's just a tool and I feel like a tactic that society has taken from us. Self-love. People have to learn how to love themselves again. And when we were kids, it was like, of course I love my goddamn self. Like, can't nobody to them tell me what to do? Not even my own mama. You know what I'm saying? So, speaking of mama, mom pulling up. But, with that, you always want to meditate and contemplate on what you have going. Always, always. This is like literally, y'all, when your office is your mama garage. <laughs> she can't even put the truck in. But um, I'm live. Can you wait? Can you wait? I'm doing a reading. Can you wait? Like I'm doing a live reading. Okay, I'll be back. But with that, you always want to meditate on everything you do. Like, I don't know. I always do. I just sit back and be like, okay, is this rational? Does this make sense? Is this what I need to be doing? Is this really how I feel or is this just some, some, some sh- I didn't conquer up in my head? You know what I'm saying? Or is it just an illusion that I'm selling myself? So... With that, new moon in Pisces, y'all harness this black moon energy. My readings, moon energy readings will be $5 the next two days. So go ahead and copy one. See what energy you need to be harnessing. See, that's so embarrassing. See what energy you need to be harnessing for this moon. And I will see you guys in the rising. Thank you.